On the sidelines of the World Economic Forum on Africa, we had the opportunity to speak with Kleva Katete, Rwanda's finance minister, for a recap of WEF Africa and what was achieved. The areas that we have been discussing, ranging from agriculture to infrastructure to skills to energy to different areas of financial services and how the financing of our own economy uh, could happen with the strong involvement of the private sector, this has been very, very successful. Right. And as you go back to East Afri Africa, um, one of the most integrated regions, many people will say, in Africa right now, what, what are your takeaways in terms of action points from this conference? What can we expect as we look to deal with the issues raised in terms of inclusive growth, creating jobs in Africa? Uh, basically, uh, I could take, there are several areas, but let me just focus on three. One is we need trade regionally. We need to integrate, and trade is a big component that would make us prosper. That's number one. Number two, we also discuss at length, everywhere you go, on the financial inclusion. It means we have good growth, but is it filtering down to ordinary people in all the different sectors? Is it uplifting people out of the poverty? And this is also uh, very, very crucial. But also we realize that we need really to make our region, African region, very, very attractive. Mm -hmm. We need to do everything we can to make sure that we can attract foreign direct investments, but also the money that is coming out of the uh, capital markets mm -hmm. to make sure that they can be invested in African, on the African continent. Mm -hmm. it's, it's now uh, the appropriate time now that we are getting top leadership of our heads of states and government who are leading the process. And that's why it was very impressive to see so many heads of states and government uh, here in this forum, apart from the uh, other stakeholders uh, who are always participants. Right. Um, uh, we, we come for these um, conferences year after year, and a, a lot of people are looking for action. We've, we've talked about the issues, we've, we've made them clear. Um, do you see the urgency in Africa right now to fix these big issues? I mean, one that has been clearly highlighted at this conference is power and the opportunity for Africa to come together to power Africa, to light up Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, um, it's not only Rwanda, but also the region. I was uh, talking in the conference uh, of the East African Community Region where the heads of states are working together to make sure that they can address issues uh, of infrastructure, of energy, so that you don't just go in alone, but you go in with others so that you can leverage from wherever there is excess energy and also other small facilitation that can help in terms of really making the energy cheaper, making the infrastructure, especially transport, cheaper, and also making the movement of people and also uh, uh, movement of money, if I, would, if I would call it that way, the payment system, also more cheaper by integrating all of them. So it's very, very important that this time we are looking more regional, we are looking more continental and removing all those barriers so that we can increase our inter-Africa trade from the 12 percent, which mm -hmm. is quite significantly low, mm -hmm. compared to other regions where they go above 60 percent in terms of the intra-regional trade. Mm -hmm. So we still have a, lot, a long way to go, but there are things that we can do which are quick wins, the other that we can do which uh, require more resources and which take more time, mm -hmm. such as the heavy infrastructure like the railway and other kind of big projects. Mm -hmm. And in terms of how governments need to organize themselves as we try to take this growth to another level, everyone talking about um, consolidation, fiscal consolidation and government, um, not stretching the budget too much, trying to trim the deficit, given the impact it has on the economy in terms of keeping the economy stable. Your, your thoughts about the importance of this as we move ahead in Africa? Yeah, that's why we are saying that the time has come where we don't believe that the governments alone can solve the development issues. We need to bring in the private sector. But to bring in the private sector, we need to be able to work with them as we implement the big projects. Yeah. That's why structuring those kind of big projects in such a way that the private sector can see the advantages, can see the benefits, are very, very crucial. But also to make sure that we remove all the barriers that are preventing the investment of the private sector from being effective. And that's what really we have been talking uh, in these kind of conferences, that we need to have the private sector. Our domestic private sector, the external private sector, there is money there to uh, buy the private sector that, that can be invested. But there are certain things that we need to do to make sure that this money can find home in Africa.